like, you know, make them strong leaders, whether it's in business, you know, whether it's in education, they need the help, we're trying to be there for them because we know with that firm foundation, then they can make a difference. And that's beautiful that you guys are doing that in Haiti, what I'm also trying to do here with Hay Online. So it's it's like I meet people all the time that are doing something and it's, we're so connected. So yeah, you're gonna see a lot of, you know, love and care international, especially with Hay Online. Um, so to get back, what have you ever gone through, whether in Haiti or here, an obstacle that you went through and how did you overcome it? But the main problem that I faced when I came here was the language. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I can't tell. I love yeah. your English. <laughs> yes, that forced me because I people laugh at me when I first came. You know, when I'm trying to put words together, I need them. <laughs> <laughs> so those Aww, things, people when crazy. people laugh at me, it didn't Aww. break me down. Right. But it pushed me to keep reading. Right. Because reading is very, very, very important. Mm -hmm. It pushed me to keep speaking. Right. Because if you have a problem and you hide it you will never come That's out. That's true. So I speak with people. Whatever you want to hear right. me or not, I speak. Either you correct me or you just move, move on. Thank you. So that's one of the reasons people be like, how oh, long have you been living here? I've been living here for seven years. Wow. And people be like, wow, you don't kind of have a, I have my little accent. Moment. But you really, I mean like, wow. Yeah. That's true. Good. That was one of my main obstacles. Okay. And that's how I overcome it. I watch cartoons, <laughs> read books, spend my time um, in the library, wow. and have conversation with people. That's good. That's good. I like that. So you overcame that, and you, I like that you got a go-getter mentality. Yes. Especially your nonprofit organization, your own one. So, I mean, I'm, I'm admired. I love the talent that I keep meeting and interviewing. So, that's an obstacle you overcame. Now, what would be your advice to a Haitian American youth? Because you know what the mission of my company is and what we're doing. So what would be your advice, especially to us, knowing that you come from Haiti, you know, you, you know firsthand whatever, what's going on there, we don't. So what would you tell us to do what we need to do here and then translate over to traveling to Haiti, feeling to help with the philanthropy, like, you know, donating to your organizations and things like that. What would your advice be to us? Well, my, the first thing I would say in my opinion is sometimes the Haitian American here, they feel a disconnection. Right. Why? Because we, they think that the Haitian people sometimes push them away. Right. But it's a concept. Right. It's true. It's a concept. And when you understand that Haiti needs you, for example, I always, when I go and speak at the public speaking, right. the wow. community, mm -hmm. I always tell them that stop looking, stop asking what is your purpose. Hades need you. Haiti needs you. And if you think you are not motivated enough, if you think that you need something to do, try to help out. I'm not saying that not everybody will have the, 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 the strength or the, the drive, the, the drive mm -hmm. to go down there. But you can support an organization. Exactly. Support a nonprofit. Right. Support. Give a dollar at least. Exactly. And if there's five different organizations in one place, put a dollar out of five bucks. Exactly. Something. Something's better than nothing. You know, and Haitian people are very strong people. Oh, we are. I can say that. If you yeah. go down there and you see how those people are living, if those people will make a dollar out of the poor. Oh, I know my, I know my so, aunt was a like how do they call that um um, Mashan, right? Mashan. Mashan. Yeah, yeah, she's a Mashan, and that woman, yeah. her husband might be playing around with the money, but that woman doesn't play. Exactly. That woman, no, my don't will now, She don't play. Exactly. So this, yeah. those are good people and resilient people. So one of my advice to the Asian American. They, they are your people. Love them, cherish them. Thank you. Know your history. It. It's, know your history. Yeah. It's very important because if you know where you come from, that will give you a sense of pride. Pride to know, you know. And help another. What would you say about the history that you love? What made you love? Like, I know, I could I could talk all day, but what, what specifically about history? History you... is to understand that where we come from as sure. people. And we were slaves and we put ourselves together and break out of slavery right and this is one thing of where right. we were the only black republic, republic right. and and and, and the western, western hemisphere, western hemisphere. Mm -hmm. and we did that and we right. still can do it today and one thank of the you thing, and one of the things that i heard a lot of time the slavery right now in haiti is in the mind it is it's, it's no in the mind chain, but it's in the mind everywhere from haitian here from haitian thank haiti. you over there so mm -hmm. it is up to us to go break, break it away from this mental slavery. Decolle, like the decolle movement right exactly and keep reaching to each other and one of the things that's fascinating about the history is you have the strong character to send over to you right you have capo alamo yes Christoph, Petro, mm -hmm. those guys 
Yeah, he's a, he's a genius. Right. And But you never heard about the praising them in the news and the media. Thank anywhere. you. But it's up to us to do that. Yeah. Like, and that's what we're here for. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like the project in Savannah is a good project. Yes. It teaches us about how we help the world. Right. You know? So the earthquake happened on January 12th, but we need to keep working on it. And we need to use this momentum to make our voice heard exactly. and make a change. So, exactly. and in your opinion, the other day I found a post about the gold they found, but I always was told by my father that we had a lot of resource yeah. in Haiti. So, what's your opinion on what you would hope to happen with the almost $20, $20 billion that they found on Haiti's side and then 40 something billion on the Dominican side? What would you hope they do with that wealth? Well, I, I really hope they strengthen the education in Haiti. Yes. Because this is the main part. If the country don't have a strong education, it will fall apart. True. Because they hate, we structure the education. Right. Like, Make sure everybody goes to school. Exactly. That's great. And the fact about it, when you have a population that have 80% are youth, yeah. under 23 years old, the, right. this country can do miracles. Exactly, with the young youth. Yeah. They're, they're healthy, they're yeah. young. And it's fresh look at things, yes. so that's a nice thing. And um, wow, I just love that. So, the last thing we mark, what would you tell a Haitian American youth, and just any Haitian youth or any youth period, about your drive and passion in the world of comedy, but in your blabberette style? What advice would you give them to keep going and pushing for their own dreams, their specific goals? What advice? My main advice for the youth is to let them understand that you have something inside of you that's greater that you cannot even understand. It. And one of the main reasons I do the comedy, because a lot of time when you go somewhere, people look at you and be like, oh, that's an average guy. But when I start doing the stand up, they be like, oh, and right. now I yeah. get their attention. Right. I can talk to them. Exactly. Like, oh, my friend, I love like yeah, you. Right, right, right. Exactly. <laughs> so start, that's why I do the comedy. And comedy also is a therapy for me. It's my gift. All right. Search for your gift. Your gift can be rapping, it can be whatever it is, but at the same time, Remember that education is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Education not only go to school, but also have educational conversation. Read a book, go to the library, because this country offer a lot. So my message to the youth, mm -hmm. stay motivated, work hard, because things can happen, and it will happen. If you and I, and Nancy, and uh -huh. Mickey, and Love and Care, and Hail Online, online put together, we can make it happen! Exactly! I love that. Thank you so Thank much. You. Oh. Sorry. Thank you for tuning in to HeyOnline.net interviews with our guest, Donaldi Salvan. Thank you to Jay Gifted, Mickey, of course. Thank you again to Donaldi. Thank you, Nancy. And remember, Google Donaldi Salvan. It's D-O-N-A-L-D-Y. His last name is S-A-L-V-A-N-T. Google him. You will see the growth he's going into. He's trying to branch out. So really, follow him on Twitter. Follow him at his Facebook. Give us your Facebook. Yeah, my Facebook is Donaldy Salvant, D-O-N-A-L-D-Y, mm -hmm. Salvant, S-A-L-V-A-N-T. And thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>